Today's podcast is sponsored by LighthousePowerBusiness.com. June 24th, Francis Xavier. Miracles can happen in the life of a man who believes God. The bitter weeping of a heartbroken woman rose from the church graveyard. Here, where her daughter had been buried just days before, a mother knelt and cried out to God. She cried out for answers, for comfort, for hope of any kind. Not long ago, her daughter had become suddenly ill, and she searched Malacca, trying to find the man who had recently led her to faith in Christ. He could have prayed for her daughter, and she would have been healed, if only he had been here. The woman composed herself and stood to leave her daughter's grave. As she wiped the tears from her eyes and brushed the dirt from her knees, her heart was resolute. She would find Francis. He would pray for her daughter. God would bring her daughter back to life. Since Francis Xavier had arrived in her city, many people had experienced miraculous healings. And the news of how God was using this humble man to bless the people had been spreading by the day. Everybody was talking about it. But Francis had traveled out of town to take care of some people, and the mother was unable to find him to pray for her daughter before it was simply too late. The mother searched through Malacca until she learned he'd returned to the city, and she felt new hope. She ran, and when she found him, she fell at his feet and explained to Francis her daughter had died while he was away, and if he would only pray for her to be healed, she was certain her daughter would be brought back to life. Francis stood speechless. He knew this dear woman had just recently come to Christ, and he was stunned at the purity of her faith. Moved with compassion for her and for her daughter, he prayed for God to grant her prayer and to console her broken heart. Then he told her to return to her daughter's grave, that her daughter was alive. Now the mother was speechless. She started to tell Francis that her daughter had been dead for three days. But she stopped herself, turned and ran to the church. A crowd of people had seen her with Francis, and they ran with her back to her daughter's grave. When they got there, several of them helped lift the gravestone away, and the daughter, who had been dead three days, came out alive. And the mother embraced her daughter, and the mother thanked God, and all the people praised God. I tell you for certain, that if you have faith in me, you will do the same things that I am doing. You will even do greater things. John 14, 12. Is there anything in your life that God wants to bring back from the grave? Miracles can happen in the life of a man who believes God. Hello, my name is Curtis Chanda, and today is June 24th. Today's story is taken from the life of Francis Xavier, a very famous missionary. Maybe many of us have heard about his life in, in India. And as I was listening to this story today about this woman that had a desperate need, whose daughter had died, I found in my heart, as I was listening to the story, of all the clever endings that this story might have about how this, this great man of God was going to justify the fact that the daughter wasn't raised from the dead. So in my mind, I was playing out the things that he might be saying, all the objections that I've heard myself when I don't have answered prayer, when I don't see the things that I believe that I, that I should or that I want to from the scriptures. And so as the story reached its climax and, and the daughter is brought back to life after being dead for three days, the Holy Spirit convicted me of my own unbelief. So today's challenge, I believe, is about unbelief. Where in our hearts have we... Uh, made something impossible for God. Jesus said, nothing is impossible for God. Those things that are possible for humans, 
They're not impossible for God. In fact, he says, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. And yet, my experience, my disappointment, the things that I haven't seen, has allowed me to develop an inward theology of unbelief. And that I find that what my head says that I agree with the scripture, my heart is in dissonance with that and in a posture of unbelief. So the challenge today is, what part of your life might the Holy Spirit be putting his finger on where you've nurtured a posture of unbelief, that you've gotten reasons to believe, stop believing God for the impossible. And the Lord encourages our faith because without faith it's impossible to please God. Let's take courage from this man of God and his great testimony of believing that Jesus would do exactly as he said. May the Lord be with us. Today's podcast is sponsored by LighthousePowerBusiness.com. Get your free strategy session valued at $1,000. Get expert advice and take your business to the next level. Visit lighthousepowerbusiness.com to schedule your session today.